Who's a sexy Lolita? You're a sexy Lolita. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you. Hey guys, it's Three Wishes, and welcome to another collective haul. Just a little warning I bought a lot of items, and this is gonna be a long ass video. So if you're not in the mood to just sit down, relax, and listen to someone talk for an hour or even more, then this is probably not the video for you to be watching right now. So I suggest you save this video for later and then when you're in that mood, you can watch this and it will help pass the time, you know? But I'm gonna try and make this video as short as possible. I'm gonna not take too long on an item but at the same time, I don't wanna go too fast. So. I don't know how this is gonna work. Oh, and before I get started, I just wanna let you guys know that this video isn't for me to be showing off my items, you know, like bragging or anything. This is just for me to help you guys because sometimes I watch haul videos and some people show items that I've never seen before and I end up wanting to add those items into my own Lolita wardrobe. So think of it as me showing you guys what you might possibly want in your own wardrobe. But without further ado, let's get on to the first item. So the first items I want to show you guys are rings. I have one ring right here, which is this cool chess king crown ring. <laughs> Look at that. It's really cute and tiny. I don't know why, but I love how it looks. The second ring is this chocolate ring. These two I bought from the same seller. So it was a good deal. I like the little melty part right here. The last ring I want to show you guys, I bought three rings, is this other chocolate ring. This was actually on my wish list and I just bought this one because it was for sale. And the next day I found this one for sale. So I got this one as well. I really really like this one even though it's not adjustable. It fits perfectly on my finger. So. Thank God I don't have a really skinny finger or a really big finger because then it wouldn't be able to fit. So yeah, these are the rings I have. And now I'll just move on to the next items. So I got these from Closet Child. Really simple biscuit. Chocolate biscuit hairpins. Nothing else to see, but they're just really, you know, nice to put on yourself if you want something. The next thing I want to show you guys is this compact cookie mirror. I chose this specifically for Lolita because it matches my wardrobe in a way and I thought it was really cute. I don't really carry a mirror when I go out in Lolita so this is nice to have and I can finally check myself out in this using this mirror. The next thing are these washi tape I showed you guys before in my collective haul my mini collective haul that I have um, a thing for tapes right here on the nose these unfortunately is not the type of material I wanted the chocolate one I had before it was more papery material this is more of a um, plasticky kind and it doesn't really stick on well so I'm not sure if I'll be using these or not. Hopefully I can find a way to make them stick on better because I like the design. Simple brown one and a mint chocolate one. So yeah, hopefully I can use them in the future. Another thing that I got from Closet Chop was this little tiny biscuit camera. At first when I looked at it online, I thought it was big. But when I got it, I was like, what is this? I mean, it's cute and you can use it as a keychain, but I don't, I don't know. It's just really tiny. I tried it before. It takes decent pictures, but you have to be in the sun to make it good quality. So I'm, right now, I'm trying to sell this. I haven't used it outside or anything. So if you want it, ask me. So the next items I want to show you guys are these bows. I bought a lot of them because I want more accessories. Most of them have doubles, so I'm just going to show you the single ones. Um, well, 
these are pretty much all the same. I got them from Daiso Japan. If you've ever heard of that store, it's like a 99 cent store, but for Japan. <laughs> and here they are. I got pink, cream, uh, mocha color, and a brown one. And they're really cheap and they're nice to have if I want to, you know, I can double them or I can just wear them separately. And these are the bows that have the doubles. I really, really like this one. I don't have any mint colored bow. So I'm so glad I got this one because finally I have one to wear. I also got these chocolate bow thingies. They have, um, they have these in the back so I can wear them as a pin or as a hair bow. And this one has a little gold plated square that says chocolate on it with nice gold detailing. This one is just um, regular brown one with white stripes. And the last bows I have are these gold ones. I like them a lot because I have a lot of dresses that have gold accents on them. So this is nice to have to just, you know, to coordinate with if you, you're using gold as one of your main color pieces. Now this item, I really really like it. It's this biscuit sleeping mask. I actually commissioned someone to do this for me. If you watched my haul video before, I showed you guys a biscuit bag, like a really tiny one. And the seller I bought it from made this for me as well. I thought it was nice to have because I want this to match cream cookie collection. And I can just wear this, you know, as a... I can't put it on right now, but I can wear it as a... What's the word for it? Hair accessory and... You no, know, or I can just wear it as a eye mask. So, um, you no, know, it's just something that I wanted to have. And she added this chocolate piece right here for me, which I thought was really cute. So, if you're interested, her name is Latte Fragilina. Her store shop is named Latte Fragilina. Go check her out because she makes really nice belt items and she takes commissions as well if you're ever interested in that. So yeah, check her out. So the next item I want to show you guys is this baby brooch right here. It's just a simple, it's not actually simple, it's really really nice. Look at all the details, super cute. But it's a really nice brooch. You can actually um, detach this pearl chain right here in case you don't want it. And it has a pin right here and um, you can take out this clip. So you can wear it in your hair or you can wear it on your dress or your bag. And it's super cute. It has the B word right here. And it's very versatile. So it's one of my favorite purchases. So here's another thing I purchased. It's just this regular gold enamel bracelet. I thought it was really cute because I like big bows for some reason. And um, like I said, I have a lot of gold accents in my dresses. So this will match perfectly. Look at that. Awesome. I do have some trouble putting it on sometimes. So. I'm not gonna try and put it on, but yeah, cute. The next thing I want to show you guys are these donut brooches. This is a little hint for you guys because I actually have a dress to match these things. So while you're watching me, just try and guess which dress I bought. So the next items I want to show you guys are socks. I only have three, but I need socks. And here's the first sock that I got. It's from Moofish, a Taobao seller if you haven't heard of it. But it's these, um, they call it Bear Biscuit um, socks. If you can't see it, it has biscuits up here. And it has tiny bears and biscuits and um, candy all over it. And at the bottom, they have a biscuit on the edge as well and um, I really like the top it's cute and minty 
I like this a lot because most of my socks are mint and these are just nice white socks that I can wear with different dresses so the quality is really nice I wish AP actually made their tights like these because I feel like AP's tights are very um, fragile and you can rip them easily so AP learn from Mufish the other socks I want to show you guys are these um, I don't know what they're called but they're these nice mint socks they have a crown right here and a brooch and a nice brown detailing I think these are supposed to be gold but they're really cute because they actually come with these garter belts right here you can button them up right there in case you, um, you want to hold them up because I've tried them on before and they're a bit short on me and they fall easily so this is very helpful but you can also use these as you know like wrist cups or something or a bracelet which I think is awesome so yay cute awesome bracelet yeah and the last pair of socks I want to show are these really really cute angelic pretty mint chocolate socks I really like these a lot I don't know why but I just like how it looks simple and cute cute details on the top stripes and it says angelic pretty and it has a crown and I do like crowns and I bought this specifically to match my um, chocolate rosette dress and I haven't tried it on with it yet but I put it right next to each other to see if the color matches and surprisingly it matches really well so now I like to think of it as a chocolate rosette set because these match the dress nicely I think I just like the color of it the mint color and the brown color go so well together I don't know I don't know why I like it it's so nice and I'm sad. I don't know, I'm sad because you know, you can't keep everything forever. Unless you're gonna be an old lady, Lolita, then you can't keep everything forever. But I don't want to wear these and ruin them because they're so nice. The next three items I want to show you guys are bags because if you're a Lolita, you need a lot of bags. So I'm gonna start with this small, tiny bag right here. It is not a Lolita brand but it's from Ross look and you see the tag and you see the price $16.99 and I bought this because it's so cute and I don't have any mint colored bags and I thought this would match um, Lolita very well you can even attach this the long strap and just carry it like this and I I love small bags because I don't really need a big bag because I don't carry a lot of things so this is nice to have it's really cute and it's really simple and it's cheap which is awesome it also has heart detailings over here so yeah I love this bag I haven't used it yet but I might use it with this dress actually because yeah, gonna match the mitts you know you know what I'm saying the second bag is this um, AP bag but it's actually a replica I don't mind because it's just you no know, it's just a bag it's it's gonna get ruined somehow but yeah I prefer the chocolate bag actually instead of this one but this was only like 25 bucks so might as well take it and the thing I like about it is that it comes with a strap that you can adjust to into three different ways and I plan on wearing this bag as the backpack way because I like how that looks and coordinates it's like school ish looking so yeah and the last bag is this milk replica again 
bag. It is so nice and so surprisingly big when I got it. I got it from the same seller who sold me the um, brown bag I showed you guys before this. And it was also 25 bucks as well, which is really cheap compared to the real one. So yeah, like I said before, gold accents, gold bag, good cord. So this is really random, but I got a wig as well from Bright Lily. If you haven't heard of that wig brand before, it is a really nice wig brand. This is from Bright Lily as well. I made a review video, but it sucked really bad before I even had good editing software. So I actually might do a short review on this wig. If you guys want to see this in a review, I might do one. I might not. I don't know. It depends on my mood actually. So yeah. I have two more items to show you guys. Actually I have three but the third one hasn't arrived yet. So I'm really upset. But this is the next item I want to show you. It's this cute cream cookie collection parka. Ah, I love it so much. I like it a lot because it's on my wish list and it just makes my cream cookie collection series collection bigger. It's like, I don't know how to explain it, but when you have every single item from that series, you just feel well, I feel awesome. And this, I think it's rare because you don't see this being sold often. And it's so cute. Like, look at this cookie pocket right here. And it has a bow. Look at that. And I like this, like, present looking ribbon across the whole parka. So. Yeah, I like this. And it's in the mint colorway. It's just so nice. And this is my first parka ever. So this makes it really special. And the very last item I want to show you guys. I saved the best for last. I actually bought a jumper skirt. And if you're looking at the clues I showed you. Talking about clues if you remember at all. I got not fake sweet spray but this melty cream donut jumper skirt in mint. Ah, yay! Ah, I love it so much. I don't know I just I've had this dress before in the brown colorway and for some reason I thought it was polyester but when I got this one I was like what the heck? Why is it chiffon? No, I don't like it like that. The reason being is that this material is very, very fragile. It can um, snag easily and I don't want that happening to a dress that I paid a lot for. But I still love this dress so much. It's so much better than the brown colorway. And it's so pretty in person. I didn't like how it looked in the photos. That's why I never really searched for this one. This wasn't my top dream dresses that I was looking for. I just put it to the side but I saw this being sold on lace market for a really good price and I just had to snag up the opportunity to get it. And I'm so glad I got it because it's just really so cute. The donuts and everything. Love it. Makes me happy. I actually got the melted cream donut necklace in mint as well. It's being shipped out to me right now. It got shipped out last week, but it hasn't arrived yet. I'm hoping it didn't get lost because I'll be really sad. That's pretty much it for my collective haul. I bought more things actually, but I didn't want to show it in video because I didn't want this to be too long, but Thank God I don't have to split this video into two separate parts. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, keep an eye out for the next one. I don't know when I'm going to do a review on the wig or even if I am. But if you haven't subscribed yet, 
subscribe to me. I'm desperate for subscribers. But thank you for watching guys and I hope to see you guys in my next videos. Bye!